the 12-year-old boy who died at a wilderness therapy camp in western North Carolina in February, suffocated, and his death was a homicide, according to a newly released autopsy report. The boy, who had just arrived at the Trails Carolina camp in Lake Toxaway the previous day, was sleeping in a cabin in a one-person nylon tent, called a bivy, the report said the autopsy report, released Monday, doesn't state that anyone intentionally tried to kill the boy. But it suggests that camp staff didn't ensure that he would get sufficient oxygen when they put him inside the bivy. A mesh flap on the boy's bivy was torn, the report states, and a weather-resistant door was instead used to secure the opening. It should be noted that a common warning on commercially available bivy products indicates that the outer, weather-resistant opening should not be fully secured as it may lead to condensation and breathing restriction, the report states. A spokesperson for Trails Carolina didn't immediately respond to a request for comment. Staff members at the camp were required to check whether children were breathing at 12 a.m., 3 a.m., and 6 a.m., according to an inspection report issued by the State Department of Health and Human Services in April. On the night of February 3, camp staff members said they thought that they heard heavy breathing coming from the boys' tent around 3 a.m. and quieter breathing around 6 a.m., according to the state report. The boy was found dead and cold at 7.45 a.m. Routine checks were performed throughout the night, but due to the outer opaque layer of the bivy being closed, he could not be visualized, the autopsy report states. One camp staff member told state investigators, I didn't check as thoroughly as I should have, according to the DHHS report. My actions that night was to perform night checks. That was my responsibility, which I failed on. I do feel like the bivy had a lot to do with it. The autopsy didn't find any dangerous drugs in the boy's system and found no evidence of trauma. But when his body was found, it was oriented opposite to the intended use, which would have allowed the waterproof material to fall onto his head and face, the autopsy report stated. The outer waterproof opening of the bivy was fully secured and could not be opened by the boy, the autopsy notes. It was equipped with an audible alarm to prevent escape. He was placed into this compromised sleeping area by other as and did not have the ability to reasonably remove himself from the situation with the alarm securing the opening, the autopsy stated. Sleeping in the bivy tents can make campers feel claustrophobic, staff members told state investigators. One camper said that it was difficult to get help while sleeping in one. Trails Carolina, based about 140 miles west of Charlotte, says it was founded in 2008, largely on the belief that a wilderness setting enhances the benefits of therapy. It took children, ages 10 to 17, on wilderness expeditions, and its therapists met with children on a weekly basis. The 12-year-old wasn't the first young person to lose his life while enrolled there. Alex Sanford Lansing, 17, died of hypothermia after running away from the program in November 2014. In mid-February, the state removed all children from the camp after concluding the move was needed to ensure their health and safety. And on May 17th, DHHS told Trails Carolina that it was revoking the program's license. The program had 60 days from that date to contest the decision.